Hey everybody, this is Josh here, aka Bearded Fat Loss, and today I wanted to walk you through how I make my infamous burrito bowls. So all the ingredients you're gonna need, you're gonna need one pound of ground meat of some kind. I personally use, it's a 93.7 ground beef, and then you need two cans of black beans, brown rice, I use the minute brown rice, two onions, taco seasoning, and salsa. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get some water ready to cook the brown rice. And you're gonna turn that on high, wait for it to boil. I'm not gonna go over all the instructions on how to make brown rice. It's on the package. But yeah, all laid out nice and clear on here. The burrito bowls I'm making right now are gonna divide into four servings. I like to do four servings of rice for the whole batch so you get one serving per meal. All right, and while that's cooking, I'm going to preheat my burner uh, for the burrito bowls. I'm gonna turn it on high, and I'm gonna cut up these onions right here. Now you can cut these up as thick or as thin as you want. I like to do longer slices. You can dice them if you'd like, whatever works best for you. All right, rice water is boiling. I've got my food scale out. I'm gonna measure out the serving for the brown rice. All right, and it's 50 grams per serving, so I need 200 in total since we're making four servings. Done, bring the heat down to low, and cover it. So that's good for now. I don't use any oil for grilling these. Um, I just spray a little bit of pan into the pan, so I've got that there. I'm just gonna dump these in. All right, so when they get to about halfway cooked, I like to add in the ground beef to the onions in the pan. So now we are just continuing to cook the onions and we're gonna brown the ground beef. And feel free to add more veggies to this if you want. I do like to add red peppers pretty often, but sometimes I get a little lazy and don't. Um, but yeah, so add whatever your favorite veggies are, you can add them in at this point. All right, so the ground beef is cooked. I'm gonna add some water to the mixture so we can add in the taco seasoning. And you don't need a specific amount of water. Um, it's just there to help mix in the taco seasoning. We're gonna turn it back to high and reduce it down anyway. I like to make my own taco seasoning. Um, so I just do a few big spoonfuls. Uh, I'll leave a link to how to make this taco seasoning. It was in an older video. And then at this point, I do add salt as well. My taco seasoning does not have salt. If you're using a packet, you definitely want to skip this step. There's lots and lots of salt in the prepackaged taco seasoning. All right, so we're going to stir in this taco seasoning and let it reduce. Just stir in the brown rice really quick while we wait for that. All right, so the ground beef is cooked. I mixed in the seasoning. And see here, it's just kind of liquidy. We're gonna let that reduce down. Yep, so we are gonna leave this on high while it thickens up and just cooks down. All right, but while we wait for that too, I'm gonna open up the black beans and get those strained. All right, the ground beef is cooked and reduced. Brown rice is off to the side and ready. I've got my black beans over there ready to be dumped in. So we turn the heat off here and just dump in the rest of the ingredients. All right, and this is also the time I'm gonna add in the salsa. I usually don't track the exact gram, you know, gram weight of this. You know, I'll usually count about two servings per meal. It's only five calories per serving, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, so that is pretty much all the steps. We're just gonna get this mixed up and portioned out, and that is it. And the best way I've found to be able to portion out my burrito bowls equally, you wanna weigh your pan before you start cooking. And then after the burrito bowls are cooked, you weigh the total amount of the food plus your pan. And then you subtract the pan and then divide it into four or divide it into however many meals you're making. And that way you're gonna get, you know, an accurate portion for each meal. It's the best way I've been able to find to portion out my food properly. 
But that is going to wrap it up for the video. Um, feel free with this recipe to use as many or as little of any of those ingredients that you saw. Feel free to tweak it as you'd like. I've done a ton of different variations of it. Uh, it always turns out great. But make sure if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. It really helps me out a lot. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to see any more. And uh, be sure to leave a comment below if you gave this a try. Let me know what you thought. But as always, I will talk to y'all later. Have a good one.